So I came in, the door is here, and I heard kind of a noise happening somewhere in the house. An unwelcome surprise for Jeff, who returned home Sunday afternoon to find his house ransacked. Somebody just walked into our house and trampled all over and went through our things. The thieves made off with jewelry and money, but most importantly for Jeff and his wife, an urn containing the ashes of their twin daughters, still born four years ago. We don't care about anything else. The wedding rings can be replaced, but the urn can't. Jeff believes the thieves may have got tipped off from this Facebook post. Going for a nice jog to de-stress. He'd also been posting about plans to meet his wife in Hawaii this week, who is caring for their son who fell ill on holiday there. This one says some prayers are needed, everyone. But he never thought it would lead to something like this. So I think maybe somebody on there could have seen that our house would be empty. Um, and it just feels that somebody we know may have done this. Social media specialist Linda Huang says this is a common mistake. You know, I think it's hard because we do, like everyone's so social now. If I'm not posting about what I'm doing, did it really happen? <laughs> but, but you have to be aware that, that there are some dangers to that. Huang has a simple recommendation. Google yourself and see, could you find where you live based on what you find if you Google yourself? And if you can, that's obviously a problem and you should start doing some social media scrubbing. Jeff is now hoping what got him into this mess might help get him out, appealing on social media for help to find the missing urn. You know, if the public knows anybody or sees the urn, that we, we hope that they bring it back. Chanel Call, CTV News.